Pinterest board covers. Do we really need Pinterest board covers? Are they even a good idea? Well, hi, I am Teresa Toledo, Pinterest expert strategist. And today I am talking about board covers. But before I get started, be sure to wait until the end. I do have an amazing free resource for you that you can grab. Let's jump right on in. So what are board covers? You may have seen them, you may have used them, or you may not. So basically, when you create a board, you can uh, add a title to the board, a description to the board, both parts very important, and both parts need to have as many keywords as we need. And then you can choose one pin image to be your board cover. And I do that. I do that for my account. I do that for my clients. Usually I pick a, a pin that doesn't have much text overlay on the upper area, which is the area that's going to show as a cover and that represents what that board is about. And I choose that this way in case somebody goes to my boards, they kind of look put together and, you know, less crowded without all the text overlay. Now, a couple of years ago, we used to make board covers and they were a huge thing. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how a board cover looks like. I'm going to share my screen here. And this is a secret board that back from back in the day when I used to have board covers. So as you can see here, uh, this is a board cover. Basically, we would create this cute little uh, Instagram size image in Canva. We would put the name of the board in the middle. We would kind of brand it a little bit, make it look nice and easy to see. And then what, was going, what would happen is that when you look at your boards in the back end, you would see your account showing those little covers. Cute, nice, pretty, branded, right? But are they practical? What are the pros and the cons? Should we, should we be spending time doing them or not? So there you go. Um, they do look good. I am not going to say that they don't. So the pros, they look good. They make your account look put together. They make your account look like you are such a, an amazing designer and everything looks so good. They, make your, they may make your client happy because you can tell your client, look, your bars look so pretty, look so amazing. Uh, they make your bars look a little more organized and all. Now the cons, they are very time consuming. You have to create one by one, even if you're using the same template, you still have to go manually, change what you wanna change, download them, upload manually as a pin. Uh, and then what we used to do, we used to use as a link, the board link. So because they're gonna come out as a pin and they are clickable if they show up on the feed as a pin, but because they're square, most likely they're not gonna have much views. They're not gonna have that many clicks. And if somebody clicks on them, they will send the person to the board, it, to the board if. Um, most, but most people will not even see them. And one of the reasons is because Pinterest now, when you go to a profile, you see that we have the created tab and the save tab. So all the boards are pushed into the save tab. If you look at the very first thing that you see are the created pins. So those are the pins that that account created or if it's your account that you created. And then if you go to the second tab, which is saved, then you're gonna see the boards. And that's where you're going to see the little board covers. So what are realistically the chances that someone is going to go to your profile and then is going to click on your save tab and then it's going to see your board covers. And even if they see your board covers, let's see if we are very optimistic, 5% of the people see your board covers. Are they going to follow you because of your board covers? Are they going to click on your content because of your board covers? Are they going to buy? from you because of your board covers, right? So this is one of the reasons why I don't think they are the best idea, even though they look pretty cute. So the fact that they have been pushed to the saved area makes me wonder, will they even be there for the long run? What if Pinterest simply decides to go away with the idea of board covers? So, you know, depending on how many boards you have, it's going to be very time consuming. So that's why I don't recommend. I do uh, choose one pin to represent the board. So it kind of looks put together and looks pretty. So ideas and takeaways. Do that. Choose a pin for a board cover. Why not? You're already there. You're already optimizing your board. You're already uh, editing, adding your board title, board description. 
choose one pin to represent that board cover in case somebody goes there and to give, um, you know, kind of a branded look. But unless you have a lot of free time and you have this intense desire of creating the cute little branded uh, board covers, and I won't judge, don't spend your time doing them. It's going to be time consuming, and I'd rather see you spending this time creating fresh pins, creating videos that will be more useful when it comes to growing your Pinterest account. And board covers in the end, they're pretty much just fluff. And I do not like to teach fluff. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to follow and comment with what was your favorite takeaway from this video. And before you go, as I promised, I have an amazing resource for you. Uh, click on the link below and you'll be able to grab it. And let's, con let's connect. Um, you can find me on all the social media platforms. You can find me on TikTok for super quick tips, or you can just follow and keep watching here. Have a fantastic day.